So here's an example of the ERC-4, so it's the external remote control uh, used for uh, lengthening the actual uh, device. Uh, this device will be then placed uh, over the area where the implant is positioned. Uh, for instance, if it is placed into the femur versus placed into the tibia, uh, it will then be placed onto the uh, leg by the patient. Um, it then will communicate with the actual nail itself and facilitate lengthening. That's then um, digitally monitored uh, through the device itself, so it will track how much length the patient does, at what sequence, and this will be programmed by the actual surgeon. The remote control is then utilized by the patient. Um, it's very easy to use. It's available in different languages. Uh, the patient will actually position this onto the leg um, wherever the implant is placed, in the thigh or in the lower leg, and it will explain everything that you need to do. You position it into that area, and then you push the button, and that will facilitate the lengthening to actually occur. So generally the ERC will be utilized during the lengthening process. Um, so it really depends on the desired length that that patient is hoping to achieve. Uh, they will utilize this device. So if it's for the full capacity of the nail, it's about 80 days to capture about 80 millimeters of length. So the uh, ERC itself is very user friendly. This is the fourth generation of this remote control. You can see here it's available in multiple different languages, which is really great for international patients. It's really no, uh, no different than using a smartphone. It's all touch screen. Uh, we can program a prescription in there, which we'll be able to do, or the surgeon uh, will be able to program this for the patient. Um, but it is available in multiple languages. Um, it does track things like you know date and time, um, and it's very user-friendly.